From time to time, I get some feedback from one of you, and I try to respond to that feedback as quickly as I can. Linda emailed me Wednesday evening to ask if I would tell the stories of the brothers James and John, sons of Zebedee, to whom Jesus gave the nickname Boanerges, sons of thunder. Today, their stories. Hello, I'm Stuart Baskin, pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Tyler, Texas, and this is your daily devotional for Saturday, May 27th, 2023. Scholars debate the meaning of the title Boanerges. It's apparently a Greek transliteration of an Aramaic word of uncertain origin. But because Mark translates it for us, we can be pretty certain what Jesus meant by it, or at least what the name means, Sons of Thunder. But that still doesn't tell us very much. The term appears only once in the entire Bible, in the portion of Mark which details who Jesus called as his twelve disciples. We read, So he appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder, and Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Behind the brothers Peter and Andrew, James and John play probably the next most prominent roles, except, of course, for Judas Iscariot. Along with Peter, they are the ones who accompany Jesus to the home of the leader of the synagogue in Capernaum when Jesus raises the leader's daughter from death. Along with Peter, they are, they are the ones who accompany Jesus up the mountain when he's transfigured and when Moses and Elijah appear next to him. And once again, along with Peter, they are the ones who accompany Jesus when he prays in the Garden of Gethsemane, where they fall asleep. These episodes tell us something about them, that is, that they occupied a place of prominence among the Twelve, which leads to a rather unfortunate episode, causing a bit of consternation among the disciples. The story is recorded only in Mark, and it takes place immediately after Jesus tells the disciples what will happen soon when they go to Jerusalem, that he will suffer and die and rise again. Perhaps inspired by the promise of his resurrection, they ask Jesus for a rather inappropriate favor. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, We are able. Then Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. And of course, the other ten become angry with James and John. Jesus responds to this little squabble, saying, Whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. So maybe part of the reason they earned the nickname Boanerges, Sons of Thunder, is because they were brash, presuming to take places of honor in the kingdom. But there is another story that may also help explain the nickname. This curious episode is recorded not in Mark, but in Luke, which says, When the days drew near for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him because his face was set toward Jerusalem. When his disciples James and John saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. Then they went on to another village. Maybe the reason for their odd nickname then is they were hot-headed, ready to call down death and destruction on an unwelcoming Samaritan village. And of course, calling fire down was to call down lightning, which is, of course, accompanied by thunder. 
all of which leads to the question, why would Jesus choose such hot-headed and self-centered louts to be disciples, let alone leaders among the disciples? And as with many such oddities in Scripture, it is a reminder that God does not call the perfect, but the flawed. And God uses flawed people like James and John for his purposes and his glory. And if that's the case, it explains why God chooses and uses imperfect people like you and me. And that's great news indeed. Now may God continue to bless you and keep you in all that you do this day and in all the days ahead.